He's the fifth. No, he's the fifth. He's the fifth. No, he's the fifth. Umbo hii kalenjinga na meno, punika meno. Wewe, jalu, enda ukatairi wewe. Nendo ukatairi, wacho kutiletea ujike, katairi. And then you post something showing uh, uh, an advert for somebody to go sakam. Kalenjinga, unafikiria na men. Guys, you guys are the most stupid, hypocritical, and you stop thinking. Look, you are just supporting this guy's ambition. Ruto, he's just crying because he's been dropped. And you guys are being emotional and want to support this mofo. It's okay. You support. Nobody says anything. You guys, Raila has been running for a million times. I want to support. I'll support. Why are you offended? Once these guys are in, they won't even remember you at all. I mean, they, nothing. If things change, it's so little, but nothing. Some of you voted right for Uru like a million times. Anyway, welcome to Wide Open. Listen. Uh, today, I would like to talk about hypocrisy. I mean, in this country, every other five years, we go to an election. But before that election, we always cry, we, we always cry about change. We want change. We want change. You need real change. But when time comes to make that change, I mean, after five years, you say, no, I want somebody from my tribe. It makes me wonder. If we Kenyans are stupid or just don't care I mean you can't have it both ways you can't want somebody from your tribe and then cry and believe that that's the person that is gonna bring change and then ignore the person that you really know he has the potential to bring that change I mean I don't know if there is a mirror to check if somebody can bring change but honestly we always vote along the tribe and that's the level of hypocrisy for example now everybody shoots Uhuru everybody hits Uhuru now but then you preferred him two times and you ended up voting three times but then now you want change but the only change you want is somebody from your tribe. Is that normal? D does it, do you ever sit down and think that I am making the right decisions? So what, what will benefit you? This is the level of hypocrisy that is killing us. We are total hypocrites. You can't play like this. It's either you want change or you want somebody from your tribe. So stick. Just say, I want somebody from my tribe. Don't just say, I want new leadership because these other, these other guy sucks. Not, it's not that he sucks. It's because he doesn't come from your tribe. The person only sucks in Kenya if he doesn't come from your tribe. And he's the best if he only comes from your tribe. That's the level of hypocrisy we portray. I, will, I wonder, when is it going to happen? You know what? Let's hope we can, we can change the mentality of our kids. So that I think our kids will come and save this beautiful country called Kenya. I don't trust the adults. The adults have failed us. And these young kids born in 1992, 93 to 2000. They just on Facebook, just the other day. All they know is their tribe. You would think they would grow and make a change, but they are the worst. Ba, 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 ba. They talk, but they don't have any vision. They don't have any plan. What's wrong with you guys? And we would expect that the mature guys would lead us, but all they do is loot, steal and steal and steal and steal. So where do we go? Or who who do we turn to?
the level of hypocrisy or hypocrisy in this country will kill us. And this is what has failed us. Come on, man. You know what? It can, it can be, it's like saying, my tribal highway. What is that? This is nonsense. Let's change this, please. Anyway, I'm done for ranting today. I don't have much to say. Please subscribe. I'm your host, Moses. Subscribe to Bonga La East Africa YouTube channel. Peace.